There's a faster way than using your mouse to navigate into text fields and do things on the computer. As you will be writing with the keyboard, you can use the keyboard to navigate everywhere. So let me go back to the Issues tab. You can press G followed by I. So go to the Issues, G, P for Go to Pull Requests on GitHub. So G, I. And I want to create a new issue. I think uh, there's a shortcut for that. It's create an issue with C. So you can use the C key to create an issue. And then you get a problem. You can tab on a web page and you will see that I get to select buttons one after the other and GitHub has that skip to content button which skips the header and allows you to get to the unwatch star buttons etc. But you don't want to be tabbing all around just to reach the title. So instead notice how although you can't really select it there's a bit of text in each of the fields Turns out you can search for that text to jump to it. So I'll press Control F to find. I'll type title. Or I'll just in general you just type the first key, T I, well T I T, and press Escape, and boom, your cursor is on the corresponding text field. So in cases where, for example, so I'm going to to create that issue. I want to do uh, this one. Kinematic body 2D issue, so I'm going to copy it and I'll paste it here. Then same problem, I have to tab multiple times to go to the leave a comment or write section. So I can just press Ctrl F, start to go to leave, type leave, and press escape. So I'll go back to um, the kinematic body 2D field, press Ctrl F, type leave, escape, and then I'm on the right field. And I use also uh, something that's quite interesting, Alt-Escape, more often that Alt-Tab to switch between tabs. So you can use Alt-Tab to switch between all your programs and it works on Linux, but works as well on Windows. And it's fine, but uh, it's not always super convenient to switch between Windows. If you have multiple Windows, you're going to get quite a few options. And you can use Alt-Escape same thing, works on Linux, on Windows. So Alt-Escape to instantly uh, switch between the Windows, but only those that are in the workspace. So Alt-Escape to go to the next window, and Alt-Escape, you know, you release it every time to toggle between two windows. But you can also go Alt-Shift-Escape to cycle the other way around. So I can this way bring the OBS widget and I can check that everything is going well because I have it on the same workspace. So I can just have the windows that are in this workspace. Again, works exactly the same on Windows. And I'm going to copy this. So from there, let me scroll down for the video. From the right area, I'm going to press Control F, go to the submit button. I press escape didn't select the button. So when it happens like that, when it really selects a bit of text and you want to go back to the closest button, tab or shift tab to go to the previous next element that you can select on the HTML page and it will select the button. Note that you can use that to switch between URLs in an article. So if I go to gdquest.com. Okay, so here, I have an article with a few links. And if I start to tab, I'll tab in the pages header. So let me search for the first link. I'll go to Twitter here and select it. And then when you tab, it's going to jump to the next URL in the article. So it's a really quick way to navigate a page and to jump onto the URL. So note that it does that with the YouTube page as well. And then it jumps to the Discord community thing. And when you jumped to that button, you can then hold the shift key down and control shift and use the arrows to select text. Now you can also use shortcuts like these to select and copy text, again, without using the mouse. So say I want to select that bit of text here, that sentence. I can search for a few words. So via email here, I search for that first word press escape and it will select the word. Then I can use shift 
and the arrows to select more fewer characters and then shift and to select until the end of the line shift down to select down line as well so it's a really quick way to select text visually in html pages and control shift left and right will select extra words which is quite convenient and the good thing when you do that is if you release the shift key you can actually navigate your page with the up and down arrows in firefox it works at least and uh, you can keep your text selected you can keep your text highlighted you can press shift again anytime with the down key or the end key to select to the end of the line and select more or less text with the shift key down.